Well, I got another video review for you guys today. So this one is from a company called EKR. And what this is is a set of uh, synthetic leather seat covers that's going to be going in the 2024 Toyota RAV4. This is a LE. This is the one with just the cloth seats. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are saying, you know, why didn't you get the one with the leather seats in it? I bought several vehicles that had leather seats in them. And, you know, I just, I'm never happy with the leather seats. And just simply because, you know, the last truck that I bought, it had tan leather seats in there. And so one day I was, you know, all hot and sweaty and I hopped in the, in the truck with some blue jeans on. And uh, the, the, I guess the dye in the blue jeans stained the tan leather on the driver's seat. Now, obviously, I could have went and had it clean, but, you know, I wear blue jeans and a lot. So I, uh, you know, didn't have to keep dealing with that. And so for the whole time that I owned the vehicle, there was a little bit of a, a like a blue tint to the tan leather in the driver's seat. That always aggravated me. So I thought, well, I'll never buy another, you know, set of leather seats because I just don't think that it's worth the money. You can see right in here, it's just a, a LE. It's got the cloth seats here. Nothing special, you know, but uh, I figured that I could definitely put a cover over these and make them make them look just as good for a lot less money. You know, let's just say they wear out in two years. You know, I can go buy another set and have a different look, a more updated look. If you want to add color to them, you could. You know, if you want a different style, you could do that. So when I received these, in a, they come in a box and then they're uh, like a reusable vacuum pack bag, which I thought was pretty nice because you can actually reuse the bag but uh anyways all these covers right in here are all vacuum sealed and uh they're they're packaged in there nice and neat and my first thoughts when i when i picked them up out, out of the bag was they're actually pretty thick and here on top you've got you know this is like a synthetic leather and one thing about the synthetic leather versus regular leather is you know it doesn't fade as bad you know as like real leather does but uh now keep in mind this, these are two hundred dollars are they going to be uh, as good a quality as real leather no they're not i mean uh, you know cat skin makes really nice you know leather seat covers but uh these are not going to be in that range i mean these are two hundred dollars where cat skins are a lot more money plus you got to have somebody install them unless you you know want to do it yourself but it's more of a you know advanced you know installation than this but uh anyways but i gotta say for 200 a little over 200 bucks uh these really do look nice and you know if they get a hole in it i'm not gonna cry but you can see that these have got perforations here in the middle you got the side right here that's opened up for the uh the airbag here on the back you got a little mount pocket if you want to use it i don't put nothing back there just because i don't want to stretch it out but you know some people stick stuff in the back of there they give you all the covers here for the headrest and we went ahead and stuck these on last night but literally we've got the front and rear all the rear headrest and it took us probably about 15 minutes to get these on there but uh anyways we're gonna go ahead and uh get started now you know ekr does make it pretty easy for you they give you like a qr code you can scan and they've got a, a video on tiktok pinterest youtube facebook and instagram so you can go on there watch the video and yeah i gotta say it's very detailed it's a little chinese guy you know putting the, the seat covers on it's about a 25 minute video but i mean he shows you step by step it makes it look really easy hopefully it won't be that hard now there's also an instruction manual if you want to use this I'm just going to probably refer to the video and if I have any questions I might re resort back to this. Now I just wanted to make mention that you know these have some like shiny piping around the corners here. I just wanted to make mention of that. The, the rest of the leather is, is more of like a matte finish where this is more of like a gloss right here on the edges. You know not personally I just wanted something simplistic. So you don't have to pick this plain style pattern. You know, uh, they've got a bunch of different ones. Another thing too is right in here, you've got a zipper. And what this does is it just unzips where you can get it over the seats a lot better. And it just makes it an easier installation. And then when you zip it up, you know, it helps keep it nice and tight. And then right here on the bottom, you got a little tag. It says EKR and it says driver's side top seat cover. So you, it tells you exactly where it goes so you don't have to you know question 
which one goes where and all that. So the first thing that you want to do is unzip the uh, seat cover. And so you can see I've got it unzipped and then next I'm just going to put it right side and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of work it down, work the seat cover down. And then I've got the flap here on the bottom and what you want to do is just kind of push it through the, the hole there and then pull it out the back. Now, I'm sorry guys, there's a lot of you know wind noise today and then the, the little cicada bugs here in Tennessee are making a huge racket. What you wanna do is get up underneath the seat and there's a couple little uh, like elastic pieces here on the bottom and you just undo them. And then there's that little elastic piece and it just folds up. You can reach up underneath the seat and grab the seat cover that I've pushed through from the front. So next, you wanna take this piece here and kinda of open it up and you wanna fold this little flat piece with the uh, little elastic on it up underneath the back. And then this has a little hook on it, just hook it on the back of the seat. And then now you can see the, the seat covers. You know, I've got them to where they'll pull through. You can see I've got the cover on and it's nice and tight here in the front. Now I don't have it zipped up yet, so that's why it's still a little bit loose on this side. But it, you know, as far as the rest of the seat, I mean, you can see it fits nice and tight in here up against the, the sides of the seat and it uh, looks really good. Now, uh, one reason why it's not as tight is it's what it's gonna be when I'm done is because right here at the top, you know, I removed the headrest and, you know, I put the covers on them last night and, you know, you've still got the holes right here. And then what you wanna do is just kinda pull them back, stretch them back a little bit, and then kind of get them lined up right in there. And the guy in the in the video that I watched, he, uh, gosh, he made this look so easy, but you just take your trim tool and kind of, you know, just work this around. Now, you can see that was pretty easy. You know, you ain't in no hurry trying to do this. It's gonna probably take you a couple hours to do it, I would say, to do everything. You know, just push it, push it around there and, and it makes it a lot easier. And you can see these fit perfectly around there. So now the seat cover can be pushed down towards the seat area and it's, it fits in there a lot better now. All right, for the next step, you're going to want to zip these up. And what you want to do is just put the seat all the way in the back position so you can get to the zipper. So it's not up here, you know, around this area and you can't get your hand up there, uh, you know, if it's in the forward positions because that console. So just put it in the back position and then it's as easy as zipping up your fly. Look at that. So you can see when I zip that up, it made it a lot tighter now. Plus when I did this up here, that made it a lot tighter. So now that we've got the seat back on, now we want to do the seat bottom. Now, before I go ahead and install it, one thing I, I wanted to point out is right here on that seat bottom, they've got a, a lot of padding. And I'm not joking, this is really thick. I mean, there's several layers of padding. I'm not sure if that's leather or synthetic leather right here on the bottom, but it is super soft. It feels almost like a suede, and it's several layers of foam. I don't know how well you can see it. Looks like there's a, a white layer of some sort of uh, felt or something. I'm not sure. And then there's some a gray layer of foam, another gray layer of foam. So if you you like me and don't think the RAV4 seats are that comfortable, these do offer, I mean, literally, it feels like there's about more of like a half an inch of protection there. I really do like that part because hopefully that'll help with some comfort. I just wanted to show you that the way that this installs is you put it in here like this and you've got buckles here that fit through the seat and then you've got three straps and these straps come and fit through the buckles and then they tighten up up underneath the seat. Now, whenever you tighten these straps up underneath the seat, make sure whatever you're, you've got it resting on up underneath the seat is not an electrical connector or any of that kind of stuff because you don't want to tighten down and break one of your electrical connectors. And then as far as, you know, you've got a little places right here that's elastic with a little J hook on there and you'll just have to look up underneath uh, I, I would advise that you get like a little mat and kneel down up underneath the seat and you'll see there's some holes in the frame of the seat. Just little bitty teeny holes up underneath there and this fits right in there and it, it latches in there. Now right over in here, 
uh, you've got this little piece I didn't really see in the directions where it showed to hook this but what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this zip tie on there that's the way it come and I assume that they left the zip tie on there so you know it gives you a little bit more length to feed this and grab a hold of it because it's just a piece of elastic so what we're gonna do is if we can't find anywhere to hook it to then I guess uh, we'll take another zip tie and hook to the seat frame somewhere and then hook it to this and pull and that way it'll stay nice and tight now a tip that'll help you is uh, this morning me and my girlfriend loaded all these seat covers and threw them in the in the back cargo area and then we went grab some food and let them sit out in the hot car and they get more pliable and then as they get more pliable they're easy to work i'll show you how the the driver's side turned out and in fact i let my girlfriend put it in by herself she did an amazing job it took her about 30 minutes you know just doing just that front seat and uh, you know she'd never done that kind of stuff before that looks really great guys she did a phenomenal job on there and literally these things fit on here really good but you can see that they fit up underneath that plastic piece and i mean they're just nice and tight i mean and then there's a little bit of cushion in the bottom you can see there's a little bit of a wrinkle right in there but you know i'd say by tomorrow after sitting in a hot car all day uh, it'll probably flatten itself out and then i just wanted to show you the back you can see how it fits up around those headrests but look at that i mean it's all nice and tight all right so what we're going to do is just take and put this seat cover on just flip it upside down and just take and work it along the side and get it in place and then what you want to do is take and you want to push this up underneath the, the seat there where it's joined to the top and the bottom come together there's a little crack there you just want to take push those buckles in first and I, I just use my fingers and you know if you get to a spot where you can't get get in there you can use that trim tool to push them we push those buckles through all three of them all right so we pull the velcro off or the little blue strip off and it's velcro and then you're just gonna pull it pull it up i don't know how well you guys can see that but basically pulling one up and pulling one down so they get attached to one another But it'll definitely make more sense when you're doing it and you just want to pull it tight and then once you get it velcroed nice and tight you should be good to go all right so now we're here in the front and we've got these little uh, straps that need to be fed up underneath the seat when you go to feed these up underneath the seat make sure you go above the bar right there yep so you know it's not wrapped around that bar so you it messes up when you try to slide the seat forward and backward and then also you can see that there is some electrical connectors under there and i'm not sure i'm just saying this it might be for the the airbag i'm not real sure it's not heated seats or anything so make sure when you route these little straps you know you route them where nothing's going to be you know broken because you're going to tighten them down a little bit anyways i don't know how much we'll be able to film of this uh, just because it's so hard to film it and get up underneath here but all right guys so we uh got the straps fed up underneath the seat and we steered clear with all the obstacles like i said there's some electrical connectors and wires and things down there just to you know steer clear of and make sure those straps get uh fit up underneath the bottom of the seat uh, you know nice and tight now again up underneath the back of the seat up underneath the bottom we've got this little, little j hook piece it's got the elastic on there and it just fits up underneath the bottom and all it's really doing is just securing that flap and keeping it pulled down tight and that way 
it's not flapping and uh, you know looking ugly by on the back of the seat here all right so we're right here on the side of the driver's seat and you've got that piece right there with elastic with a zip tie you're gonna feed it in feed it through there and once you get it pushed in there with your fingers then you're going to take and you're going to pull out the, the trim a little bit and force that little piece of uh, a seat down behind that also, it does take a little bit of force and i'm letting her do it that way you guys know at home you know she has no experience doing this kind of stuff never put on a seat cover before this is her first time now before she gets that thing all the way tucked in there i just wanted to show you one thing if you're at home and you're wondering well can that just pop out of there once you tuck it down in there? No, not very easily because they put a piece of foam. They they sew a loop in it, put a piece of foam in there. So it's not just going to pull up and it stays down in there once you get it pushed down in there. I got to say, this company's done a good job at researching these and figuring out how it fits. All right, so now that we got this tucked in right through there, then you got this piece right here. And this little J-hook with a piece of elastic, you're going to take and hook it up underneath the bottom there. And it's kind of hard to see and film. <laughs> at the same time so we're trying to show you the best that we can guys if you would please take a minute and then like the video i mean guys we we do this just as a hobby and you know we don't make hardly anything off of this we're, we're doing it because we like fixing up our own vehicle and uh you know we really appreciate it if you uh at least give us a like it really helps our video get out there to more people and helps that youtube algorithm where they you know seem to like it a lot more if it, the video has more likes and more views and you know and you know if you want to see more content make sure you subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you get to see more future videos because we're releasing videos every week guys new products you know i'm fixing up my vehicle and you know i'm, I'm bringing you different you know floor mats and different different products that other youtubers ain't showing you know and i'm not trying to peddle a bunch of chinese crap to you I'm actually showing you good products that that work good and you know if they're not good products I'll tell you if I have any problems out of them I'll tell you you know I've pissed a few companies off you know just by you know being an honest person and they don't like that and so hey that's fine with me I don't care I sleep good at night all right so for this little piece right here with a little j-hook and the elastic cord on it what you want to do is just take and push it right down beside the seat belt and then you'll be able to get up underneath and uh, grab it and hook it to the, the seat uh, frame and start tightening it up. All right, so all done with the front driver's seat. All you have to do now is just attach the headrest. And like I said, it's very self-explanatory. This just comes off with Velcro. You just fit it over top of it. And it had a wrinkle in it yesterday, but since I leave them, left them overnight and uh, they've set out in the car today, uh, in the hot sun they've you know pretty much just pressed herself out and so i'm just gonna take and slide it in there just like that and you got a little clamp right in there to adjust them and then yeah it looks really good guys i mean liter literally you know it took us probably an hour to do the front two maybe an hour and 15 minutes or so but we did take a water break and you know we wasn't completely hard at it now that is with you know me having an extra set of hands and uh you know us going back and forth helping one another because you do have to slide the seat forward and backward and adjust it forward and backward or at least we did you know like i said i'm a big guy and you know my girlfriend's a little thing that's very flexible and you know it's nothing for her to jump around here like spider-man but for me i'm a fat dude and it's kind of hard to get in some of these tighter places, but you know, we helped each other and, and got it done pretty quick. But uh, you know, uh, and I think it turned out great. I mean, really, I think the quality of these is amazing. For 200 and I think 29, 39 dollars or something like that, I've never had a set of seat covers that fit this well. And 
you know you can see right there when you get in and uh you know everything's just nice and tight and i like i said i do like that they've added so much padding up underneath the the seat right there where your butt goes and yeah i think it looks really good all right so for the back seat i gotta say you better eat your wheaties because you know, the guy in the little chinese video made it look so easy he just popped that thing up you know but literally <laughs> it fits right down in there this little metal piece and so you got to get your hands up underneath there and jerk on that thing straight up as hard as you can and most likely you, you're going to have to do probably one side at a time just, just to be honest with you guys and it takes it takes some strength to pull that joker up now if you've removed yours before it might be a little easier but you know this thing is brand new and it ain't never been off and boy i'm telling you it, it took some it took some pulling on that thing to get it up and out of that little clip right in there all right guys so we're we got the back seat out and as far as the the seat backs here i have this uh, mat that is like a one piece and i went ahead and disconnected it right there i don't know if i should have or not but uh you know in the video of the little chinese guy doing the installation video it really didn't show these on the backs of the seats so you know i don't really want to take mine off and so i thought well why don't i just slide them right over top of it if anything you know it'll make them fit just a little tighter you know and if they're too tight i can always pull them off and do it a different way you know but i thought well let's try it and uh, we're, i think that's what i'm going to do so i put them on here just to see if they would zip up and they zip up no problem and uh as far as you know when i put them up you know it looks like it's going to fit in there and you know it doesn't seem like it's going to have any issues with with put installing them over that little rubber piece so i think that's what i'm going to do so anyways we got in here we removed the back seat and then the front or the upright seats here uh, we went ahead and slid the cover over them and we wasn't sure if we was going to have to disconnect you know this piece here uh, because we've got the mat here and in the video with the little chinese guy showing the installation it didn't really show any mats so we went ahead and disconnected ours just to be sure i mean all it all it did was just we just popped it up and these just pull pull out like little push pins but uh anyways we didn't need to do that there was no need for us to do that uh, what the way that this connects is right in here there is some velcro uh, just little pieces of velcro and the covers just push up underneath here and they kind of just uh, velcro themselves to the bottom of the, the the seat right there and it just kind of holds them in place now keep in mind like i said i've i've left those rubber mats on the backs of the seats you can see i just installed the covers right over top of it wasn't sure if I was supposed to or not, but I thought, hey, let's try it and see. And, uh, you know, I really wanted to keep this little mat on here. That way dirt and trash don't fall in behind the seats and all that. So we went ahead and slid both seat covers over the rubber piece. And, man, they fit. It fits perfect, even over the rubber uh, mats that fits on the backs of the, the seats. You can see right there, you know, there's a rubber mat. But, uh, yeah, all you do to secure the seat backs is you just peel the green backing off and it's a piece of velcro and it just slides up underneath and it holds it nice and tight i mean literally it's that simple if you can take a plastic bag and stick it over your head you can literally install these uh seat covers because they're that easy i mean is it time consuming yeah is it going to take you a couple hours to, to probably do all these yeah unless you're really fast at it and you know very flexible and get in here and you know do it real quick you know but uh yeah almost done with it almost done now one thing i do want to note is right in here there's a car seat fastener you just want to take the, the seat cover slide it in behind there and just work it in there i mean literally it's all you got to do and then take that velcro and once you get it worked around in there, you just take that Velcro and stick it up underneath the bottom of the seat. And you can see it's nice and tight. Now there's a little wrinkle right in here. But again, it'll take a little heat cycle to press that out. A couple days in a, in a hot car, it'll press that out, no problem. 
all right guys so we got them on it's very very simple and you just gotta tuck it down in around the bottom there and just slide that velcro up underneath and fasten it and i guess your main thing is don't forget to put your seat belt through you know before you you put your cover on there and, and all that but you can see they look really good i went ahead and slid the headrest on there and i wasn't going to show that step again everybody knows how to slide side the slide the seat cover around the the headrest but i just wanted to show you here in the back that you know they they fit pretty good now you can see right there there's a little bit of a you know uh, a, a hole there and i just need to adjust that you know it's nothing wrong with the seat cover it just needs to be adjusted but truthfully you know i didn't care if these fit a little tight here in the back and i didn't care if you know um you know about sliding them over the rubber mat just simply because you know there's not going to be very many people riding in the, in the back seat for me truthfully i mean it's just usually me and my girlfriend and if somebody rides back here you know it is what it is but uh you know i wanted to keep those rubber mats there just to you know cut down on road noise i figured having those extra mats uh, back there would cut down road noise and plus if you got something you know some cargo uh, back here you know and then you know you don't want it to damage the backs of your seats and you know i just figured it would wouldn't hurt anything plus you know only thing i plan on putting back here you know is you know your groceries or something like that you know i was thinking about also putting a subwoofer back here but i'm not not sure which one and and uh well just which one i'm going with or whatever but gotta say they uh fit pretty good and they look really good they really do all right so we're down to the very last piece here this is the seat bottom for the back and like i said guys this thing weighs like five pounds not much at all it's mostly foam and uh anyways what you're gonna do is take the fat part here the front part of the seat and we got went ahead and got the cover laid out right here and i'm just gonna take and kind of lay it in its place we're using the the cargo area as our little work surface and then we're just gonna pick the cover up and work it away around it and it's very self-explanatory yeah it just fits on like a pair of pants guys you just slide it up around just like you would a pair of pants and the way that it hooks on is you know here in the back once you get it wrapped around you can see you've got these little straps and then you got the little cutouts and this is the cutout for the the seat there and all you do is just just work it around work it around do the same thing for this end i'm just gonna rest it on my foot there i'm just gonna stretch it so the way that you do this is you just slide it through like that right there and then this goes back across through the top you just slide that through and then once you get it slid through that little buckle then you just tighten it down you know, just cinch it down do a little bit at a time go to the next one cinch it down you go to the next one all right so we got right here to the bottom of the the seat we got all the little buckles tightened up and then you got a cord right here that you just pull tight and tie it in a knot once you get it all nice and tight and then we went ahead and just tied it to the buckles right there just to give it some added tightness and you can see it's pretty it's pretty tight there plus all these these buckles they're pretty tight helps keep that that seat cover on the on that seat and not moving around and then we just kept you know uh, tucking in all the the little loose ends so there's nothing flapping and getting in the way of being able to put the seat back in there so we're gonna take and you can take a look at the at the seat there and you can see it's got a little wrinkle right there a little wrinkle right there but you know with it being hot it'll it'll take all the the uh little creases out of it once it's sitting in the hot car but uh anyways just gonna set it in there and it should pop into place pretty easy all right well we're all done all done we we literally done this in a few hours now it took us probably an extra hour to to video on all this but literally we could have probably done this in two two and a half hours 
anyways uh, as far as the back seat you know it went right in it just snapped right in it's the only thing we had to do was make sure that the little seat belts here were uh, in the right location when we snapped it in place and then we took a little trim tool and just stuck the the push the, the, the fabric around that and you can see it looks really nice now if you're wondering well can you use your your uh, flip down console here in the back sure you got a zipper on each side I'm never gonna use it so I'm, I'm gonna keep mine up but yeah if you wanted to get to it you can just reach in there and pull it out but like I said I'll never use mine so I'm just gonna keep it keep it zipped down and and uh, just looking all nice and, and clean you know as far as the the coverage man I don't think you'll find a better set of seat covers for the money I mean really and even you know I, I say for the money I mean literally 220 30 bucks for these man that's a it's a steal uh, I, like I said again I don't know how they put these together and sold them so cheap and they're such good quality they've done their homework on the fitment and stuff now the only thing that's left to do is they provide you with a, a console cover for to put your elbow on in the front seat so I thought that was that's pretty nice so I'm gonna go ahead and slide that on and shouldn't take but just a second all right so we're done got the console cover on man thing fit on there perfect you know just slides up underneath there and it gives you a nice soft place to put your elbow so I've noticed that you know getting in and out of this thing I always rest my elbow on that thing so I'm sure that'll help keep that from wearing out and then as far as the front covers man I couldn't ask for nicer I mean literally this will be a company I use from now on I can tell you that yeah, it beats paying two or three thousand dollars for leather seats from the factory and you know if you end up spilling something on them then you know you gotta pay somebody to clean them you know if I get a hole in these or if I get spill something on them plus a couple hundred bucks all right so I'm gonna wrap it up now if you're interested in this style this pattern now this here is a M456 and I just did black and now again they've got a bunch of different colors and different styles and uh, you know gotta say looks good it doesn't look like no base model RAV4 no more I mean literally you know if somebody was just looking in your vehicle I don't think they'd be able to tell not one bit that these are seat covers they're very pleased now again I can't say what they'll look like a year from now getting in and out if something happens to these I'll just get another set and replace them I mean <laughs> a couple hours of work and have a whole new look and interior I mean shoot that's the way to go well and if you got kids man i'm serious i mean this is i mean these will be easy cleanup since they're uh, easy to wipe off and and all that so if you guys are interested in it you know check out my link down below and uh if i can get a coupon code or something like that i'll put one in there if i can't then i won't uh, again you know check out the links down below if you're interested in this product i'll put the exact you know link to this one that i used and uh, i appreciate you guys watching now i will tell you after uh, I released this video. I've got another product from the same company. What it is is a set of floor liners. And let me tell you, I'm not just blowing smoke up you, but I've tested about a half a dozen floor liners for the RAV4. And you can look at all my videos, but the floor liners that I have coming from this company, I was literally shocked when I got them in because they cover behind the gas pedal. They cover all along the side of the door right in here all the way down guys and you know i've never ever seen another floor mat that covers way up high on the transmission tunnel all the way down the side it covers all the way around the slide on both sides and all the way up to the firewall it's the one mat that has the most amount of coverage and it's very affordable so make sure you watch that video i'll link it to the, the end of this video after this one plays so you guys can watch it but again guys i really appreciate you watching my videos and and um please give me a like you know it does take a lot of time out of our day to make these videos and try to put some detail in it for you guys so you'll know what you're getting whenever you buy it till next time guys see ya